excited to have you. I'm already spying some amazing creations behind you. So tell us about what you do. Well, I do alterations for brides. Um, it's, it's a part of my main business. So a lot of girls will bring in a dress that they purchased somewhere else. Um, and I'll do their hem or I'll take in the bust or do a bustle. But then I also do redesign work. So they might buy something off the rack and they want it zhuzhed up and you know made differently. Um, I also do redesign of heritage fabrics. So I have girls that bring in their mother's dress or their grandmother's dress and I redesign that so they can wear it for their reception or for their ceremony. And then I also do custom work. Okay, so my next question is, you sound very busy. How did you, how do you manage your time? And also how did you get started with this industry? Time management's difficult. I will tell you that because I do have a family and I do this full time. Um, I don't do anything else except so. Um, so my main studio is located in Red Lion and it's attached to my house. And then I have two satellite studios, one in Lancaster and one in Harrisburg that I only operate when I have appointments there. Um, but time management, it's, it's, one of those big, it's one of those big things. I'm not gonna call it an issue, but um, it's always hard to decide how much I'm going to take for business and how much I'm going to take for family. So I see some pieces behind you. Would you like to bring some into focus and show us about some of the, the pieces that you're, you're proud of? It seems like those are beautiful. Well, she's um, for a pageant um, that actually got canceled last year, rescheduled for this year, but they're hoping, you know, in the next few months. Um, she's a two-piece sequins, full ball gown skirt, um, and she's a lovely girl. 